This video shows you how to use a configuration wizard to set up monitoring of a remote Linux system in Nagios XI. It assumes that you have already installed the necessary agent on the target system, following the instructions in the document entitled Installing the XI Linux Agent from the Nagios Library. To begin, you will need to have the Linux wizard installed, which you can check under the admin area under Manage Config Wizards in the left sidebar. Some versions of XI will have it by default and others won't. On this test system that you see here, it's not. So I'll have to go to the Nagios Exchange and just look under Add-ons, Configuration, and then Configuration Wizards, and you'll see it available in the list there. And you'll just go to that screen and download the file, and then you'll end up going back into the manager to upload it. Once you have the file then, just go up to the Upload a New Wizard area, browse for it, add your file, and upload, and you'll see it appear in the list. Once you see that, you're ready to go, so you can go under Configure and run the monitoring wizard now. From here, select the wizard you want to use, which is the Linux Server wizard. Click Next, and you'll put in your basic information, which is the IP address, and then what Linux distribution it is. There are some that are pre-configured, and otherwise you can select Other. Here I'm using an Ubuntu system, and down here you'll see why I'm doing that, because there are some things that the wizard can actually customize to the distribution, for instance, here I have an apt check that's seeing whether the packages are up to date, and that will be specific to what sort of package management the distribution uses. Then you can go through this various list of things that are available, customize as you wish, check and uncheck boxes. Here I'm actually looking at a desktop system, so I know that the number of processes is going to be higher than the defaults are. And then I have four partitions actually separated out, so I'll put in all their different mount points for this disk usage check, and that'll add four different services, one for each. Then down under the services, I don't have Apache running on this system, so like I said, it's just my desktop. So I'm going to uncheck that box for Apache. And then you can also go ahead and add your own. So here I have printing services running on mine. So I'll add an init check to see that CUPS is running. And then down below that, you also have an area for general processes, things that don't have an init script to run them, but that you want to make sure are running. So on the top part, it's something that has an init script that's going to be started by that process. And down here, it can just be anything that your user's running or something that cron might be running. Here I'm putting in my IRC client that I leave up all the time and a web browser just for kicks. And make sure you check the box next to each of those as well as putting in their information. Then you go through from here, it's the same as any other wizard. You're going to check some of your monitoring settings and your notification settings. We'll go ahead and give it a host group, Linux servers, since that's the wizard we're running. Otherwise, pretty self-explanatory. Apply your configuration. And then you can go ahead and click the view status details to see all the services we just added. So there's the list of them all. And then over the next couple of minutes, as the checks start to come in, you'll see your first results. And everything should be okay. If you see any errors here of timeouts or failed to complete SSL handshake or anything like that, that indicates a problem with the agent side of things. And that's it.